Hello. Today we're going to talk about subtracting mixed numbers. Now when you have this setup right here, like these mixed numbers are, what you want to do is you want to uh, rewrite it. And we're going to rewrite it so that one is above the other. It's usually pretty helpful. So first let's start there. So if we have 7 and 3 fifths minus 3 and 1 tenth. So there's some things we have to check for. The first thing we have to check for is, do we have the same denominators in these two spots? We do not. So you have to think to yourself, okay, what could both 5 and 10 go into? Well, uh, the least common multiple of 5 and 10 is 10. Since 5 already goes into 10, and that sometimes will happen, you'll have the smaller number will divide into the other number. Um, go ahead and use that bigger number. So think of what can I multiply 5 by to turn it into 10? Well, that's 2. Now when we do that, that becomes 6 tenths. The next thing we're going to check for is this numerator, so the top of the fraction, remember, is called a numerator, is that numerator bigger than this one. Well, 6 is bigger than 1, so now we are ready to subtract. So let's go ahead and do that. So how do you subtract? Well, the whole numbers you just subtract. 7 minus 3 is 4. Next, we can subtract these. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Now you're to the right answer. That is correct. But remember, Fractions should always be reduced if possible. Remember that 5 we talked about earlier? Well, the top of this fraction and the bottom of this fraction are both divisible by 5. So if we divide the top and the bottom by 5, sorry, <laughs> I didn't divide the bottom by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So you get a final answer of 4 and so that is how you subtract mixed numbers if you have to get a common denominator. Okay, thanks for watching. If you liked it and found this helpful, please go ahead and uh, like this video and subscribe to my page, and you'll get more. Thanks.